8 million feet of wire, I have to go like 10 feet. This is gonna be that center console, the button panel will be right up here. So I just basically have to run these things along the top and then just duck them down right here. Never had the whole interior out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is the old wire going to the roof. This is actually the same system, mm. but we're gonna seal this up because it leaks. I am 100% sure if we took these out, this would be full of water. There's no question. Because every <laughs> time I would hit the brakes, it would just slosh forward and soak the inside of the truck. Oh my God. There's you no you never question. thought to just like try to seal it up better or anything? Nah. Why would you do that? No, it's definitely it's far less fun to do that than. <laughs> you want to see something really funny? What's I was that? halfway stupid when I bought this thing, and I couldn't tell my left from my right. <laughs> so, oh my so god! So I have left and right stickers on the windshield. Are you serious? Dude, it was before. It was before they had like GPS in every vehicle, so <laughs> I, like I was I would get so lost. I'd have a map quest printed off. So, yeah. Off. Yeah. <laughs> I can't picture how it's going back together. So I'm gonna run all this stuff, but like there's gonna be a dashboard here. So I gotta get this stuff around it somehow. And I can't really picture it. I don't really wanna just tuck it in. That's the old way I would have done it. So the right way is to like follow all these wires here. So I think what I'll end up doing is take it back, which is like super counterintuitive, but dump it in here, pull it all the way over and drop it down, like maybe even the C pillar or something. Then it'll be golden. I feel like every Hummer owner in all history has run wires down here, tried to, and then they pull them behind the doghouse and they crack the doghouse. And then like, oh, I gotta change the turbo out because like, or something. You pull the dog and you break all the stuff, you tear the whole interior up. So I feel like making that mistake, which everybody has made a million times, is not a good idea here. Yeah, probably not. So that means that the wire run that was just gonna be like, oh, this will be so easy. I'm just gonna go right down the middle. is gonna end up being here here, 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 here. You have to. All the way under, back around, and up to the top. <sighs> now that I've pinned it and cut it all too, fuck. Well, I'll catch you when I catch you. We're back. Live. <laughs> Continuation of day one, the day that will never end. Yes. The, but the, wait, uh, wait, so you didn't get any progress, it looks like. No, it still looks, actually, no, hold on. Let me just, <laughs> let me just show you. I did. I made this beautiful what? coil of cables oh. connected to nothing. So that's all you did was you just bundled up some cable all that no, time? No, not all I did. It's that's been a big, like, that's a big like, word. It's been like six hours and that's all you did. I've been doing a lot of thinking. There's a lot of thinking that goes into doing this. <laughs> you can't really see all the thoughts that went into this, but I've also been, look at these. These are labeled. That's, it's beautiful. I mean, that's- it's beautiful? I can't see. Oh, it's truly beautiful. Right. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. <laughs> On a fire truck, you have to label every wire, every, I think it's 12 or 24 inches. So like if you did a cable like this, it'd be like all you spend your whole life printing oh. wires. It's the stupidest thing ever. But I mean, the deal is like when you tear apart a fire truck trying to fix something, you can just like rip a harness open anywhere and look up at it. And it's like, oh, that's this, this, and this. Uh, there was this fire truck company called American La France. And when they went out of business, like, I don't know, 10 years ago when we were starting the business, they had just gone out of business. And when they did, the last fire truck they built is in town near us. And I went to go work on it, install some lights. And I opened this harness up and every single conductor said left blinker on it. That was the only wire they had left. <laughs> Eight miles of left blinker labeled oh, wire in the truck. That's funny. Yeah, they gave zero shits as that company died. <laughs> Chino made me a beautiful hole right here in the uh, front of the truck. Oh. I'm not exactly sure what's supposed to go through you it. sure but... he made it or did you make it? I didn't, I did not make this one. I don't that know. That was if... not a previous hole? I don't think so. I'm gonna jam <laughs> all these wires so. through it. I have no idea what the hell it's for, but. Well, your light's blinding me. That light right there is blinding me. No Nintendo. Why? Not in Kindle. Why is Cheeto mad at me? He's yelling at me and throwing things at me, and you're ignoring me. Describes it with Let's go, Sam's here. One of those <laughs> nights, nobody wants to talk to me. Apparently, Flo doesn't speak English anymore. Are you guys all normally camera shy, or are you guys? No, uh, no, they just really. normally talk shit on me the entire time uh, I'm here. Our team is like petrified of the camera. All of our engineers hate getting anywhere. Like the camera comes in, and they're like. Poof, ghost, gone. <laughs> what? I'll talk for you too. Oh, okay. You okay. gonna be in my house? Yes. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm doing everything Randy used to do. <laughs> what are you doing there, Flo? Show me how to show, do it. Show me how Randy used to do it. You what, you gotta cut the fan? Yes, you do. Yes, Why? you do. Cause she hits the fan. <laughs> well, because Jason, this is a Duramax motor and that's a Hummer. So not everything fits, so you have to modify pretty much everything. 
This is called CAN wire, and CAN is it's five volt communication, so it's really not super high. Uh, like it's not high current, but you see how level the wires are? They're 22 gauge or 18 gauge. So what happens mm. is it sends little pulses down this wire, and one is high and one is low. So one's like one and a half volts, and one is five volts higher than that. And so they alternate back and forth super duper fast. And it basically allows you to send data packets to tell something what to do on the vehicle, but it mm. it has to have a big insulation around it and it's got to have a shielding wire. So there's all this stuff to keep it isolated. Because when you run it next to giant power wires, it make magnetic fields. And you won't be able to get good communication. So like yeah. this whole system relies on being able to say like, when you turn the lights on, it says like, hey, light number four, do this thing. So all our big power wires, they're back here. So those are going from the batteries at the back down under the truck, but I didn't want to run them in the same spot I ran these. Yeah. So then they go across, they're gonna go across the front cross member and then up the driver's side. And then, mm. but then these are gonna go just out here and then up to the same location, but they're going mm. different paths so that they never mm. cross each other. Otherwise it would corrupt the data buses, which would be- Yeah, which isn't good. Not good. Like having a fishbowl up there on your roof. This. That's the AM General Factory fishbowl, actually. You know what else it is? Is there still water in there? <laughs> There's a bunch of bugs in here. Yeah. <laughs> like a bunch of cockroach <laughs> dead, dead up there. I think this Hummer has more stories than any Hummer I've ever seen come well, to this shop. <laughs> there's cobwebs like all over this on the outside. Yeah, there's a lot of stories. Like probably a silly, and only about 20% of them are probably appropriate to tell in, pub, in polite company, but. Did I tell you this before? I made this windshield by hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cut that you one broke off. The other one off. Yeah, and then this one is a second windshield because I had a giant water ski in the back of the truck. We worked in the professional water ski industry, <laughs> and I slammed on the brakes because someone was tailgating me, and that used to be like my go-to was lock off four brakes up while I'm driving, and the ski flies through the back, flies through this windshield, and busts this windshield out. So. Lisa yeah, went through there, and knocked through like your head. I know. That's what I said, <laughs> dude. It's so bad. My brain has short circuited, fully. Mm. But I think that, sh I hope that's good enough, but I... <laughs> and this is your display truck. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to think through like all the corner cases for stuff that like, what am I forgetting? Do I have enough spares? I have one whole spare conductor, but then I've got, this one's got like 800 connectors in there. I think they're spares, I mean. Yes. That wire is massive. And it's not long enough to do what we want. I mean, you can weave it like, Behind the alternator on this side, this way is not against the turbo. You can still run it this way, okay. but I follow this channel right here. See, that's an option too. Yeah. And then run it back that way. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Huge. Silly Huge, Jason. You don't even know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to connect it now. Yeah. I usually prefer my cables connected directly to the springs. It makes them faster and more bouncy. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. So I have like major hoarder tendencies. And so what I really want to really? do, oh yeah, really? I know, really? can you tell? It didn't show. So it what I really want to do is I want to sacrifice this wire, cut the end off and reuse it. But what I'm actually going to do is start in the trash and pull one off of the nine million foot spool I just bought because there's no reason to scrap and no. keep. I just feel like every time I'm going to run a wire, like I'm pulling a harness, I'm going to miss something. And it's like something stupid, like one extra Lin conductor or one extra can conductor or something like, I don't want to miss. Cause if I miss one conductor, Dude, You're like screwed. pull the whole interior back out just to put this thing in there and that kills you. So yeah. I'm like following my little map. So I'm thinking through like, all right, well I gotta have, these lights are going down low. These are going on the hood. So what do I need to bring off the top to go down there for these lights? And it could be a million little like, little whatevers, but I just, I gotta actually do it. So <laughs> I'm running one set of wires. I'm making one beautiful harness to come off the roof and That's come good. down. So can, I was telling you earlier has, one volt and then like five volts higher or one and a half volts and five volts higher. And then it alternates back and forth and does all this really cool stuff with data in order to communicate. LEN is a single wire protocol that goes between zero and nominal voltage, which is like 12 volts on a truck. So, but it's the same voltage as everything else on the vehicle, but it's a single wire because it references the ground plane. So you can pass data without having to have these big conductors, these twisted pair conductors. And so like when we're laying this thing out, the main lights communicate over this protocol called CAN which is the big wire, and then all the accessory stuff like all around the vehicle, that communicates on a protocol called LEN, which was made for the automotive market. It's called Local Area Network. It'll basically be these lights. They'll have power. This one has an extra circuit, but imagine the blue wire's not here. They'll have 
Yeah, imagine it's this. Power, ground, and then LIN, and that LIN wire is a one wire internet, and that internet basically hooks all the lights together, and then when you're slamming signals into the touch screen, which isn't on the table, but mm -hmm. you can do this touch screen, then it'll tell the lights what to do, like change the colors, change the flashing rates, the intensities, mm -hmm. all that stuff, but it's all, it's all data driven, so. This little box will host a wireless, like it's actually a Wi-Fi node, and it hosts a website. So you log in, like you connect your cell phone to the truck Wi-Fi, it'll be called yeah. like, Hi, Viz Hummer. And then when you log in, like, you know when you're on an airplane at like captive dot whatever, it'll yeah. pull you into the thing. It'll be a captive signal, it'll pull you in, it'll open that page, and that'll be the truck controls. So what time is it, Sam? <laughs> I think it's go time. You think it's time to go? <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah it's... Everybody's fucking Snapchat for a fucking... Win on you, Jason. Yeah, Jason. I think it's time to go? Yes. Well, I mean, you have the lights on, so... <laughs> go time. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. Yeah. What? I it's seven o'clock. What does that mean? That we worked longer than you have. And so what time is it? Uh, Modelo time? Hell yeah, it's Modelo time. <laughs> or Let's go. For, for us Budweiser time. Are you going to be in tomorrow, Jason? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Flo? Yeah, you, so co you coming into work? Shit. <laughs> God damn.